at some point, you know, if you're going around the track in the, in the car, you just feel comfortable and smooth and tidy and everything, you're probably not going to be fast enough. You know, I always say if the car feels like it's on rails, you're not fast. You know, the car needs to be moving around. In fact, you need to be a little bit comfortable with the car moving around and getting uncomfortable. So the car is moving and you feel like, ah, I love this feeling of the car dancing on the limits. That's, that's when you're really fast. Well, I think some drivers, you know, they get comfortable when the car is uncomfortable. You know, they're, those are drivers that are usually pretty darn fast in the rain because the car is slipping and sliding and just dancing on that ragged edge, just on that, on that very, very limit. And they love that. Other drivers, the car and everything needs to be comfortable for them to feel comfortable. And I'll tell you, in the end, they're probably not going to be as fast as those ones who just, they love the feeling of the car slipping and sliding and moving around. You know, there are some great uh, uh, examples of that today in IndyCar racing. You know, I watch Alexander Rossi, he just like he loves having that car just dancing and moving and everything. And uh, he's comfortable with the car being uncomfortable, and that's fast. So drive the car, not the track. I, I think some drivers get so caught up in this, I gotta get to that perfect ideal line through a corner that they're fighting the car and they're more focused on the line and not focused on driving the car to its limits. So when I say drive the car, I mean drive the car to its limits. And when you drive the car to its limits, it will tell you more about where the line should be. If we're caught up into driving the line because that's the line that you were taught to drive and that's what everybody else is driving, you're probably not focused enough on driving the car at the limit. If you drive the car at the limit and are slightly offline, I'll bet that you'll be faster than if you're driving on a perfect line, but not driving the car to its limits. Sometimes we just gotta drive where the grip is. You know, the ideal line might be the ideal line if the track surface was equal in terms of its grip level. But sometimes we know we have surface changes, we have camber, we have banking, we have elevation changes in the middle of a corner. So we have to adapt the line for where the grip is as well. And there are certain corners on some tracks where, you know, to use all the track on the entry of the, uh, entry of the corner, you're just driving more distance. So one of the great challenges, I think, of driving a race car quickly on a track is finding that right compromise between driving the straightest line as possible with the largest radius, but also the shortest distance. And there's no rule for saying which one is right all the time, but it's trying to find that right balance or compromise between the two. That's some of the magic fun that we have on the track. Well, I think, you know, the, the old advice of the f most important corner is the one that leads on the longest straightaway. It's pretty basic advice. But if you really want to separate yourself from everybody else, be fast in the fast corners. They're the ones that are intimidating. They're the ones that are maybe possibly scary. And you can often make up more time on another driver in those fast corners. If you're in a 40 mile an hour corner and you make a mistake and lose two miles an hour, in that gear, it's not that difficult to make up that speed. If you're in a 125 mile an hour corner and you lose two miles an hour, the car doesn't accelerate as quickly. So it takes longer to regain that, that speed again. So I, I, I think you know, when you go to a track, focus on those fast ones because that's what's gonna separate you from everybody else. A lot of times the faster you go, our vision tends to drop a little bit and you know, we start to get a little bit of tunnel vision. So deliberately working at kind of opening our, our eyes up, looking further ahead, having bigger eyes, looking further ahead, will help make that corner look less intimidating. I think the other thing that we often do is, as we try to gain speed in a fast corner, we tend to kind of compress all those, the, any kind of speed adjustment we do right into the corner. Now we're entering a fast corner, upsetting the balance of the car. So one of the things that great fast drivers uh, learn is get that stuff done early in, when you're approaching a fast corner. You know, if you're gonna make a speed adjustment, whether it's a breathe of the throttle, a lift of the throttle, a little brush of the brake, or even a little bit more of a brake, get it done early and then get back to power some throttle as you're turning into that fast corner. Because then the car is gonna feel more balanced and settled and you're gonna have more confidence. So it's, it's a matter of kind of building that up over time. And you know, then you just make that speed adjustment a little less, a little less, a little less, a little less until you're really fast through that fast corner.